Hi, this is David Medina from Hidden Key Studio in Puerto Rico. This is part two of designing a digital method album DMA with graphics software. Uh, if you haven't seen part one, uh, you go ahead over uh, my uh, YouTube uh, page and uh, you'll be able to find it there. We already cover uh, a lot of the basic stuff on uh, how to design a DMA. Here, I want to just talk a little bit about uh, the templates. I th found out the best and easiest way to work with the DMA is taking using the templates that comes with it and using them either as they are or as a starting point to design uh, what we want to do. That's the easiest way because it comes with all the with uh, bells and whistles that we may want to add. They're already there, so we don't have to mess too much with it. But of course, you can start from scratch. Uh, we already saw how to change the the mat on the background, the color of the mat, and things like that. But so just select the template. Just select down here where it says template, and uh, just just click over where it says director, and select the matted. And then you have a series of choices. When you, when you select on the triangle next to matted. You can ch select a uh, single page or double spread and how many images you want. For example, if I just want one image, I'm only going to use one image, just select uh, one. And I'll, you'll have a different kind of uh, uh, options here, and we all kind of match. Of course, once you, what, what I do is just to find the type of hole that I'm looking for and maybe the type of... Uh, uh, decorations uh, that I may uh, like on my mat if I want a simple one or I want a be very decorated one I just look for that one drag it into the page and then I just basically can change things from there so I use it as a starting point for example if I want something like this I just drag this one here and uh, it adds everything that I need the place for the image the, the uh, little nice uh, uh, texture to the background which is already raised uh, to it because if I select it and I look on the right hand side here on the finishes I can see that the uh, the texture on the on the background is using a is already raised so it's gonna have the relief or the or the raise to uh, the decoration uh, there is in the background uh, you can see here if uh, they're using a beige but let's say I want to use a blue you just basically come here and change it to blue and I uh, just basically inherits other properties from the one before so I have a lot of liberty uh, I can basically adjust anything I want uh, within the the chosen template for that page I basically from there I just go back to picture pick the image I want there and just drag it into place once it's there you can see the little circle in the middle if I grab there I can adjust the image I can actually make it small uh, bigger I can zoom in and again you just move it into place The way I want it, set one up there, and uh, it's done. Uh, look around, you see some of these little locks. And basically, all these items or these uh, shapes and things like that, they are locked. What you have here is an image, and behind it, this is what is creating the, uh, the, the effect of the matted album. That is a shape that is, has been added. And I found that it's easier to deal with shapes and uh, images within shapes by using the template instead of trying to do it from scratch. That's been my experience. But if I want to adjust this, let's say uh, I want, uh, the, 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 the templates that I have to choose from doesn't have exactly the number of holes in, that I want, things like that. That's how I would change that. Let's, let's see an example. Let's, let's go to a different uh, page. And let's go to the templates again. And let's look for one, a single page that may have, like, for example, six images. Uh, the, the, the problem may arise when you have images that are not necessarily the same uh, shape. For example, here we have six uh, uh, horizontal images. But let's say I have, I want to use, instead of six, I want to use uh, three uh horizontal and one vertical so what can I do I just basically uh, click on the image unlock and basically delete delete that one go to the next one unlock by clicking on the right button and delete now I want to change the size of this to make it into a vertical but obviously I had to unlock it so I just basically right button unlock and then I can hold here 
and you see here down here that you, you can see a line that's where you have to put your shape or your image hole just to keep the them just keep in line with the uh, the mat that is being built that digitally around it so that's that's a guy that is very useful once I have it that way I just lock it again and I just basically just drag the images I want to use here this, this I want to use this uh, nice uh, silhouette there I can move it into place and then just add uh, three horizontals here and of course I can move them within and then resize them and do anything I want to each image so that, that that's basically I think is the easiest way to to create uh, on using the DMA just use templates they already built this is a very simple template I can change the color very easily to blue or to any any color that I choose or paper and uh, let's let's talk a little bit about the details for example if I if I select here here you can see a double red line I'm selecting the shape in the outside and we look in the finishes you're gonna see that it doesn't have a is raised down here see so it's going to have the, 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 the feeling when you touch it, it's going to be raised to the touch. If I turn that off and make it matte, it won't be, you won't have that effect. See, that it looks different. It won't be, it won't have the raised feeling to it. If you change it back to the raised, it will have it. And this is the little details you have to keep, you keep your eye looking for it so you have consistency throughout the album because, uh, and that's what I like the template. Start with the template because it helps me keep that consistent. And make sure that when you're done with the album, you go back and just check, make sure that it has uh, is it is the way you design it. This in the left hand side on the east where it says book, you had two symbols. That tells you what what kind of uh, uh, finish you have on those pages. In the left hand page, you only have uh, white paper. In the right hand page you have a raised varnish so it's letting you know if you go down here to the thumbnails it has a little uh first stage is metal in the left hand side and it's blue p p a matte in the right hand side and it's going to tell you it has symbols it tells you what you have within that page uh the the graphic software for the dma pamphlet that you can download for your tray area it have what each one of those means so i suggest that you download that and just look at it in reality, if you follow the that that pamphlet, <coughs> excuse me, if you follow the pamphlet, uh, the, the first couple of times you, you, you're gonna have a lot of questions. But just play with it, just 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 mess with it, and it will help you get a hold of what each each uh, little thing does. So you can add text here, you can raise it, you can do a lot of different things. Uh, let's do another another uh, page. So we can explore some of how to change the templates. Select templates and let's look here. And let's say I have uh, five images in a double spread. Uh, this one here looks nice. And what I like is it's already created for me. It's a square, two squares, and that. But let's say I want to change this two square to a vertical, and I change it to uh, horizontal so that way it's gonna force me to change the uh, the mat around so I, I know you're gonna like that so let's let's uh, the same way we did before just check select the one you want to delete unlock and delete then select the top one unlocked and grab the uh, the bottom and just bring it see the uh, the what the the, uh, the lines just take it to to that line and you're done with that one just lock it into place just to make sure it doesn't move or it doesn't have anything happen this one stays the same way but this one we want to make it into a horizontal okay for that we're gonna have to change we we're gonna have to move the entire thing see we cannot move it because everything is locked that that uh, to be honest is a, it can be a bit daunting because you have to basically unlock everything there's a shortcut just hit L and it's, it's a lot faster and then select don't forget to select the uh, the, the frame around 
and everything is, is already selected. So we just basically, you need to select everything. Oh. You need to select everything. So, and you do that by hand. You select first the frame, then using the shift, using the, uh, the command, uh, key on the app, Apple, I'm not sure, I think it's the control on the PC. Oh, sorry. It's a shift, excuse me. And you just can select each one and finish by selecting the shape. And then you just move it to, to, to the left where you think you're going to have it. Don't worry too much about the background shape yet because we're going to resize that. But let's say uh, we're going to make this into horizontal. So I'm just going to move it to where I want it. Just drop it there. Take the other one, move it to, to match it. You see the guideline coming in. So that is done. Now I just need to move them into uh, where I want it in the center. So basically, again, select the first one, select the second one by holding shift. Click on the next one by holding shift and click on that one by holding shift. And let's see if, uh, if I can put a... a move to the center and only move one of them so basically you have to select 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 and move it uh, to the center now let's work on the uh, on the See, the reason it did not move earlier, when I tried to move everything together, is because you, you can see it's locked. So let's hit L. Now it's unlocked. So now we can move it. See how how it lines up with uh, with with the holes because we use you you started with the template. Everything is is set to the right size. But basically, what you do now, you just hold this here and just move it to the right until it matches there. The red line matches the the uh, the edge, and you're done. That's that's how you, that's how easy it is just to create uh, to move things around in the software. So now lock everything back in. Lock. Locked. Locked locked okay now we have everything locked and uh, we just drag the images into the page So I hope this uh, second tutorial helps just to see how you can modify. Remember, you can change the color, the, the background. That's not mm, a big deal. Just change it to anything you want. And uh, how to interpret what's going on on your page. Uh, so until next tutorial, we're going to go into a little bit more advanced how to create align spaces and things like that. So hope you're enjoying this tutorial and they're helping you just to explore the DMA, designing DMAs on the graphics software.